Okay. No stream today. Um, it's just uh, too time consuming to and distracting to deal with chat. Um, I'll continue posting on the YouTube though and uh, posting on my blog. Um, yeah, I just, I am pretty swamped with stuff right now. I still have finals to grade and, and everything. Um, so yeah, uh, and, and chat can easily get me derailed, especially after I solve for many hours. So, um, uh, no, no stream today. Sorry about that. And I don't really have a good way of notifying people, but is what it is. Okay, um, oh shoot. Oh dear. Okay, I read trajectory. Um, Oh, shoot.
by x velocity. Initial x and y. Okay, so I need to find So the initial velocity is d, dx, 2y plus equals dy.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and submit. Nice. That's kind of annoying that I, I got the, the first one wrong, but you know, that's not too bad. Oh, there's negatives too. We get away with just like this. Let's see. We're going to try and continue to brute force this until it becomes untenable. Um,
Hmm. Is there a bound as to like sort of how I can think about this? I guess X can There we go. Okay. That was a little bit disappointing on part two. I, I thought about this one should have been I like looked over at the problem and saw a bunch of negatives. So I was like, oh, it, it probably can be negative, but it's, it's really only Y that's negative. My delta time is pretty bad. Okay, so yeah, I don't really know if there's a better way than brute forcing. I'm sure there is. So let's like um, set initial velocities to to be something reasonable. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit confused about today. Like, it's way easier than yesterday. <laughs> So I did pretty well on part one, 10 minutes, um, first place, so that's good. Um, third place on part two, that was a little bit disappointing. And mainly it was just that I just couldn't figure out how to brute force this well enough. Like 200 doesn't work. 200, 200, and then what else did I have? Like 200 up here. Yeah, so we need to go up to at least 300.
Yeah, okay, so... I, I don't... I'm, I'm texting some friends here. It doesn't sound like there's really that much to... to... to, you know, optimize here. Like, <laughs> you kind of just have to brute force. Okay, so a couple things that did go well today. I, I copied down this description into my program and then just implemented it. And then I didn't try anything fancy here, just a kind of nested if statement. So I guess this works because it depends on being a pretty sharp angle. This one probably can go, like Y has to be some positive trajectory. Yeah, so Colin just solved. So he is solving tonight. I wonder if he just overcomplicated this. Yeah, so one thing that was interesting is this input, like I should have just like changed the input, like to to be more conducive to reading in, rather than figuring out this regex. It was kind of hard. Yeah, so this is just keeping, it's a time step, but there's a bunch of different initial conditions that you can have, so. I, I kind of wonder what the max is. Yeah, so I think we can bound this initial x velocity on Well, I don't know what we can bound it on. But the initial y velocity, we can bound that on um y1, right? Can you?
So Colin just solved. There's not many people solving tonight. Which is kind of surprising. I wonder if they're just being slow or if it, I mean Jordan's solving, so he he'll should he should come in soon. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I, I mean, I think this works, but I don't know if it works generally. Step So I'm just going to refactor this into a simulate function that does this, basically. So these are our position, our actual position. dx, dy, that's the, that's the velocity. Hit is false. Okay, so then here, twenty three, twenty one. I wonder if you can do a max with, nah.
Okay. Nice little nice little function here. And here we just care about if it's hit, that's all. Cool. <clears throat> Dorian looks like he had a pretty good delta time. Yeah, my delta time is disappointing. Definitely disappointing. Um, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, um, Can we bound the initial y velocity as well? I guess it, it can be like x2 Negative So I'm assuming that there's like some escape velocity that 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 you could calculate from this. But I don't really know how to do that. Like I would imagine that it's doable. But I, I just don't I don't really know. Hmm, okay. So cool little problem. I, I kind of like that. 
uh, obviously I did pretty, pretty good. Okay, let's do some bit more cleanup. I wasn't supremely ready, unfortunately, at the very beginning. which was a little bit unfortunate. Chunks, bit string. Yeah, I'm this is one this one's definitely an interesting one to think about the bounds for. I, I sort of think that I should make this non-optional anymore. Watch tomorrow is going to be like, I want it to match or not, and I need to check if it matches, but I'll just put a try catch around it. You know what would be also kind of nice is an ints function. INV, INT, INT underscore, INTS. No, let's just, let's not. Okay, um, let's call it there. Um, um, thank you all for watching. I'll upload this to YouTube and then uh, I will also write on my blog about this problem. Um, I'll hopefully get streaming soon again, maybe for uh, after like Monday or so. Um, there's just 
a lot of stuff to do between now and then. I am testing for my fourth degree black belt. I have to grade hundreds of exams and uh, yeah. So um, we will see when slash if I get back to streaming. Sorry for not notifying anybody. I just don't have any good way of doing that. So hope you all have a good evening and I'll see you tomorrow.